Go for it. Okay. Oh, so you stay off camera. I'm just I stay off All camera. Right. Yeah, because I want to. <laughs> I can edit that part out, so. But, um, well, hi, it's Crystal here with TheUglySing.com, and I'm here with Skeleton Witch. If you'd like to introduce yourselves, that'd be awesome. I'm Dustin, drummer from Skeleton Witch. I'm Scott, I play guitar. I'm Evan, I play bass. Well, we just really appreciate you guys taking some time out to do this for us. Absolutely, so, we, we appreciate you guys doing this. Yeah. Oh, this so this is uh, your very first um, headline show. Uh, on, on, in a little while, yeah. Yeah, we, we did a bunch of dates at Europe, festival dates, and a few headlining shows there, small break, and then the, right into the uh, double drive, Arch Enemy. So yeah, it's, it's been a minute. Yeah. We got in here today and we're like, oh wow. It's, you know, a little bar, small stage and everything. We've been playing these huge places with Arch Enemy. It's gonna be fun to pack in there. Do you have any special surprises tonight since you're headlining? Well, uh, we're gonna play some, you know, some more tracks off the new album that we've never played live before. Uh, so there's that. Uh, another thing is the album comes out this Tuesday, the 11th, but we do have it uh, early too. So if anybody's interested in picking it up, we do have the new record and literally have records. We have 500 copies, <laughs> like a limited run of like uh, the splatter, uh, like green splatter vinyl. You can only get from us at the show, so oh. I guess that's a surprise too. Yeah, that is. <laughs> we definitely get one of those. Hopefully, that's the only surprise. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll fall off the stage. Oh. <laughs> yeah, maybe my amp will explode. That would be a surprise. <laughs> well, hopefully, you know, was it combustible drummers? You know, oh, yeah, like, yeah. Well, we don't need, we we don't need, need that. that. No, so. we don't. I, like, I only keep Dustin where he is oh, on, the, on the drum so, drum. so, how did you come to be in the band now? I, uh, I play in another band called Demiricus, which um, okay. we put out a few records on Metal Blade a few years ago, and we did a tour with Skeleton Witch, and it was 2007. I, probably. <laughs> 2007. So that's when I originally met the guys, and uh, we've just kind of stayed in contact ever since, and been buddies ever since. And uh, when I got wind that they needed a drummer, I wouldn't do a damn thing. And so I hit Scotty up, and one thing led to another, and here I am. No, he's stuck with us. Yep. Now I can't get rid of him. Oh. <laughs> so, how was the experience with uh, doing a new album, and um, kind of what was your, I know it's, from what I've heard, it sounds more to me like Beyond the Perm Frost and has that real good evil vibe to it. And kind of what was the mindset going into it? So the hell was like to record with Matt? Yeah, well, yeah, it was also awesome recorded. We recorded with Matt Hyde. Uh, that was in LA. And it was real painless. We actually uh, had a lot of like rehearsals beforehand and stuff, so we were real prepared. So when we went in, we just kind of, he was like, wow, I've never had a band easy in a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We just came in and like knocked it out real quick. Uh, we were there for a month. Um, I don't know, it was an awesome experience. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely do another record with him. And it like felt good and it turned out it turned out great. You know, he had a lot of uh, I guess suggestions, not not songwriting wise, but like sound wise, which is what we were going for this time, is maybe some a little bit um, less raw than the last one. The last one, Breathing the Fire was super raw because Jack and Dino did it. Uh -huh. He did some Nirvana albums a long time ago, and recently like High on Fire and stuff. Oh, okay. And he's a lot more like a, a rock and roll sort of guy. And I think Matt Hyde is a little bit more in tune with maybe modern metal, or at least the speed of it and, and stuff like that. And the intricacies that we were trying to capture and you know, on the CD. Yeah, and the songs I've heard just, they're amazing. Yeah, yeah. And Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Amazing. And what do you think about... I know you guys kind of get lumped into the neo thrash, but honestly, I think you guys sound a lot more like European bands. Thank you. Yeah, it's much <laughs> more awesome. like You get it. Yes, yeah. I get it. Yeah, the, yeah. Thrash, the thrash thing comes up in yeah. quite a bit of interviews and just talking to people and stuff like that. We definitely like old thrash, mm -hmm. and like Nate, uh, my guitar player, you know, writes uh, like 99% of the riffs and stuff like that, and he's definitely into old thrash, and all of us like, like Overkill and Exodus and stuff like that, but we also equally like death metal and you know, even more so like black metal and stuff like that, and I think that shows itself in the music. I think we just write and put together songs that we want to hear as, as fans, and that, you know, that get, that's get, gets reflected, especially on the new record. Oh, yeah, and definitely the lyrics and the vocal styles are much more black metal than thrash. Absolutely. When we, yeah. when we read, like, oh, the thrash band Skeleton, which does this, yeah. I was like, 
<laughs> really? Did you listen to it? Yeah, we're just we're just a heavy metal. Just a metal. That's what we like to say. We're a heavy metal band. Yeah. Go to the eyes. A lot of different styles. Yeah. yeah. Well, you talked a little bit about going to Europe. So how was that playing the huge festivals? And oh, it was awesome. It was awesome. It, it was a little overwhelming for me because my fourth show with the band was fucking open air. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So that was that was a little overwhelming, but amazing oh. at the same time. I mean, I couldn't ask for a better entrance into the band. You know. Oh. Now you can do anything. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It, I guess that's typical for us because when uh, it's been you know. I pretty much consider you an original member, but you've been with us for so long. But Evan's first show with us was second show, at, literally was Danzig, right? He's second or third, something like that. We played like oh, a, wow. two shows in Ohio, like like headlining shows, and then it was like we're playing with Danzig. Yeah, then yeah. played to two thousand people. So yeah. apparently, yeah. if you're gonna join Skeleton Witch, you you better bring your A game. <laughs> you're playing some big fucking shows right off the bat. Yep, we'll okay. make sure of it. So yeah. did, did you get to? Uh, a lot of bands you like at the festivals? Do you have some downtime to do that? Yeah, we, we like at Vakken, we were there a day early, the day before we played, and got to just hang out all night. I got to see Judas Priest, which I've always wanted to see the Priest. It was so fucking awesome. And, and especially in front of 80,000 people, it was oh incredible. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. Um, who else played? Mayhem played, we saw them. Um, there were a lot of a lot of shit. Yeah, we saw. Just got to see Motorhead and uh, Brutal Assault. Yeah, and the Czech, we saw Motorhead playing an old, like, uh, Army base in the Czech Republic, which was really cool. They had this festival called Brutal Assault. That was definitely a highlight. Cause, yeah, there's a lot of like um, black metal bands that I don't think have ever toured the U.S. Or if they have, it's been off my radar. We got to see like we got to see a uh, Shooter, which uh, the oh, band yeah. Dustin likes a lot, and I have come to like since I was able to see him. Um, there's a band called Hell Renard, they're a black metal band that I got to see play that I didn't ever think I'd get to see play. Stuff like that. Uh, there's a rock and roll band called Graveyard been around for maybe like five or six years or whatever yeah. and uh i don't i don't know if they've toured the states um, you know it's been off my radar to have so i've got to see a lot I of bands they're like, actually touring with down up now it's their first tour in the states I believe. well dang well whatever i gotta see them summer breeze <laughs> <laughs> yeah but anyway yeah we got to see a lot of uh, a lot of bands that I Immortal. An opportunity. Yeah. Immortal. Oh yeah that was killer they had one bloodstock in the uk and we got to see that that was awesome bad pyro Oh. Yeah, we, got, we got the full show. Oh yeah. yeah. So we saw them in Pittsburgh when they came through last time, but they didn't have, uh, you know, they didn't fucking have giant flames and explosions. Oh. <laughs> they played it indoors in Pittsburgh. That so it was cool. Amazing. I've always wanted to see them on a mark with the, the whole ship. You know, oh the yeah. The Viking ship they do, and they don't pull that out in the states. But. No God, I can only imagine what it costs to ship that thing over. I don't. I actually don't think it's seaworthy, so they can't row it over. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Knock that one out of the park. <laughs> But yeah, it would be great to see that. Unfortunately, they didn't do any of the festivals this year, but we toured with those guys, so we got to see it for like 30 shows in a row, so minus the boat. Yeah. So did you guys get to meet anybody that you think you were looking up to and try lots of European beers? And I got to meet Mickey D, the drummer for Motorhead, and I originally played for King Diamond, and that was that was pretty pretty amazing, but I was really drunk, so I <laughs> felt like I came, kind of came across like an idiot. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's what it is. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you met Charlie. Oh yeah, I met Charlie from uh, Witchery and Arch Enemy. Now we're, we're all buddies. Yeah, with he them. played a Mercy Paint too. Yeah, awesome bass player. Yep. Um, you guys got another tour coming up with um, Chimera. Yeah. And then you go back to the UK. So That's right. We're 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 doing the, this run of headlining shows that we're on right now. Uh, there's maybe another week of of them. And then we do uh, 10 or 12 shows with this band called Cabeller Talk from Norway. Um, as she knows, uh, we're, we're playing with them uh, in the Midwest. <laughs> then we do the Chimera and Unearth thing. Then, then uh, after the first of the year, we're gonna go do uh, a, a tour in the UK with uh, Black Dolly Murder. It's, it's like maybe, it's mostly in the UK, but there's five shows in France at the end of it as well. So yeah, it's like 21 UK shows. Have more stuff going on after that, or yes, yeah, we, <laughs> yep, we have more stuff in the planning stages. Yeah, we're gonna live in, in the van or two of us or whatever the hell we're gonna be traveling in for a while. I'll say, my god, you guys are road dogs. I've heard constantly. How yeah. do you keep the energy up and, and the stamina and the motivation? Because I know that's something that you guys have to keep up with. I don't know, it's, it's one thing is that we love what we do. So we have fun every day, getting up on stage and playing our music. The other thing is drinking. <laughs> and that kind of takes the bruises away, you know, you, you know, you're all twisted up in the van. If you slept in the van or somewhere shitty, you wake up, a couple of beers will, will help you, you know, 
get, get on stage every night. But really, it's lo loving what we do for me, anyway, is what makes it work. Kind of, yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty equal for everybody. Everybody loves to just get up there on that stage and do what we do. And wouldn't trade it for anything else. Yeah, everybody's friends, so it doesn't feel like a job. I, you know, I like playing music, but I wouldn't want to play music with a bunch of motherfuckers I hate. So <laughs> <laughs> we all like each other and get along really well, and I think we're almost like friends before we're band. I mean, you know, I was friends with all these guys years before I was in a band and stuff, so I think that helps. Just, you're with your brothers, not just a bunch of assholes that play music with you, you know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, that, that's awesome. Except for, except for awesome. Scott. I'm kind of an asshole. You're kind of an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. And... Oh, no anything, worries. Is there anything you'd like to say to your fans? Um, yeah, just uh, thank you. Thanks to anybody who's supported Skeleton Witch in any way. You know, bought a record, bought us a beer, up and out the shows. Um, you know, we can't do this without you. So we, we truly Absolutely. appreciate it. And we don't take it for granted. And also, of course, you know, we have to shamelessly promote our, but our new record, Forever Abomination. Uh, it'll probably be out by the time you see this. It comes out on the 11th. Uh, so check out check out the new record and uh, check out our tour dates and come see us and hang out with us and have a beer. Definitely. And you guys have any thoughts on the video for the new song? Yeah. Yeah. As long as we can get this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Skeleton Witch the new, pamphlet. This is our new pamphlet. <laughs> <band. laughs> there over here if you want to pan over. Uh, this, this guy's going to... If you want to pan over. If you want to pan over. Pan over. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. yesterday, that's great. He's going <laughs> to... He's definitely going to ask us for a ride later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's our, that's Zam Fear, our new Zam newest Fear. member. <laughs> Can you imagine metal on a pan flute, though? That's kind of a No, I can't. Part. I can't even. I, I, I give it another year before one of those Viking metal bands or pagan metal bands has one, if they don't already. Well, they got hurdy gurdy, yep. so I think mean, it's not that much of a threat. Yeah. So. If they have accordions and midgets, yeah, pan flutes won't be far behind. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we'll see. Check check back in a year, we'll see if I'm right. Okay. Well, I tell you what, I sure appreciate you guys taking time to do this. This Absolutely. has been great, and good luck with you know, the tour, the rest of the tour. I hope to come back on the way, because we need to see oh, more bands this way. Yeah. And, you can't get rid of us. Yeah, awesome. We'll be back. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yes, thank you, Crystal. <laughs> yeah, thank you. 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 Thank